Central? Join the conversation online and be a part of WCTC's real-time talk. Like 1450 WCTC on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at 1450 WCTC. Jersey Central with Burt Barron. Think we could listen to the radio or something? On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. 808, welcome to hour number three of Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It is Bert. Good morning to you. We'll do our contest a little bit later on in this 8 o'clock hour. Your first chance to score some tickets to Taste of Middlesex, Pines Manor, and Edison on Monday evening, March 27th. Tickets on sale now, edisonchamber.com. First chance to win some tickets coming up in just a bit. Let's get to the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. An important day coming up uh, at the end of February called World Spay Day. And anyone who has ever worked with homeless animals or perhaps has volunteered with adopting out uh, dogs and cats and other pets that have no homes. This is pretty important to them. So let's welcome in Jane Guillaume, who is with us here today. She is from People for Animals and here to talk about the importance of, of World Spay Day. Hey, Jane, it's Bert Barron. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Bert. I'm good. Good to talk to you. Uh, why, why does spaying need to have its own day as recognized across the world? For, why is it so important uh, that, that this word get out about the importance of this? Well, um, the problem is, um, there are so many unwanted animals that are born every year because people delay getting their animals spayed and they end up with an um, unexpected or accidental pregnancy um, but have no place for these animals to go when they're born. So one of our um, um, goals at, as People for Animals is to encourage people to spay and neuter before those accidental litters happen. Um, the uh, the shelter system just can't handle the influx of animals that that are born that are unwanted. Should this so be for encourage... for every house pet, Jane? Is this the the way to go for any house pet? In absolutely. your opinion, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We encourage every every pet owner to get their animals spayed and neutered. Um, it it provides health benefits for the individual animal, and it also helps um, the larger social need to prevent unwanted pregnancies. Is there a, a specific, uh, whether it's an age or a weight for a dog or cat, when is the uh, the appropriate time to have it done? Well, we encourage um, pet owners to speak with their veterinarians about when the appropriate time is. Um, from a social standpoint and preventing um, influx, we encourage animals to be spayed and neutered before they're five months old. However, there are some considerations for different breeds, so it's really important for people to talk to their vets about it. Let's put this in perspective for people, Jane. I want everybody to imagine uh, a pyramid, if you will. And at the top of this pyramid, we're going to have a male cat and a female cat. Okay. And uh, let's go from there. How many cats and kittens would those two cats be responsible for over a period oh, of time? My goodness. Um, well, they're very cats are very prolific. Um, a female cat can have up to three litters a year, and each litter contains between three and five on average. So um, if you start with a pair in one season... Um, one pair of cats can produce up to 26 cats. So you see how so, this, this pyramid gets pretty broad pretty quickly, right? right? Right, yeah, they're very, very prolific. Yeah, so the important thing to do is take care of this. And if you're going to a shelter that's reputable, they, they will encourage this and maybe even offer, like, uh, sometimes they'll have, like, a low-cost clinic where they'll help you pay for, pay for it. They'll give you, like, a, a discount, yeah. right? Right, right. And there, for people who are having trouble affording uh, spay and neuter, there are a number of um, different uh, resources for them. We operate a hotline. It's called Spay New Jersey, and it's on um, spaynj.org. Um, or they can call 877-SPAY-NJ-1, and we will help them connect with a local veterinarian or a nonprofit group that does spay and neuter for an affordable fee. Awesome. Now, uh, People for Animals, Jane, you guys were way ahead of the curve on this. Uh, 1985 opened the first uh, state-funded, low-cost spay and neuter clinic in the entire state. So you guys yes. were way ahead of everybody else on this. Yes, we did, and we're very proud of our history. We now have three clinics throughout New Jersey, one in the north section, one in central New Jersey in Robbinsville, and one in south Jersey that we just opened in 2015 in Clayton. So, um, but our flagship theater, our flag, flagship clinic is in Hillside, New Jersey, right outside of Newark. Awesome. And you, you even have a shuttle that will, will kind of travel the state too, right? Absolutely. We try to make it as easy as possible for people to access our affordable services. 
So we have a pickup service where we will go out to um, our biggest partner is Petco. So we pick up at many, many Petco locations um, locally so people can drop their animals off at the Petco location. We will shuttle them up to our clinic for surgery and bring them back at the end of the day for them to pick up. What happens in some of these cities across uh, the United States, Shane? I know uh, San Francisco comes to mind as a no-kill city where they have no shelters in the entire city that, that they'll let every animal live and live their lives out. Uh, spaying and neutering, is that something that makes this uh, an attainable goal for more cities in the United States? It's a critical component to the no-kill equation, um, preventing the influx of animals into shelters and controlling that uh, so-called faucet. We need to turn the faucet off, and prevention is the key to doing that. Yeah, and anytime somebody is looking for a, a puppy or kitten, you know what? Go to a shelter in Jersey. It's amazing the, the, the pets that you'll find that are ready, readily available and ready to go home, right? Absolutely. We encourage everyone to adopt animals from the shelter. That helps. Um, you know, let them use their resources on, on, you know, the other animals that are coming into the shelter. The other thing I wanted to take time to mention, if I have a minute. Of course, is, sure. Um, the community cats. Um, in New Jersey, the largest concern mm -hmm. is uh, cats that are, that are breeding outside. These are cats that are not owned by anyone, and no one really takes responsibility for them. Yeah. So um, Good Samaritans often will feed them because they feel sorry for them, but we want to encourage everyone to take that next step and get those cats fixed. Um, so that they're not reproducing and, and, you know, making more unwanted litters. Yeah, excellent advice. Uh, talk about People for Animals, Jane, uh, and your organization. What are you guys all about? We're all about spay-neuter <laughs> <laughs> and affordable health care. Yeah, that's, that's our, um, our main focus. Um, we do do some rescue, and we have a soft spot for elderly and special needs animals in shelters, mm -hmm. so we will help try to help out. Um, shelters that have difficulty with um, placing these harder to adopt animals. Um, so we'll pull those from shelters. But most of our message is spay neuter, spay neuter, spay neuter. Very nice. And you have an actual shelter and you do fostering on top of that? We do. We do okay. a lot of fostering. Um, we don't have a shelter. We, we're really um, a veterinary service okay. um, organization. Um, but we have a, a large foster network, and we also partner with a boarding kennel who's a friend of our organization to hold our adoptable animals until we can find them homes. Very cool. In my house, uh, Jane, foster is just a slang word for adopt. You, you do realize that, right? <laughs> right. Oh, we're just going to foster for a month or two, and next thing you know, it's, you know, 10 years later, and the cat has been living with us all this time. Absolutely. But uh, that's the way to do it. love with them. It doesn't take much. They worm their way into our hearts. Yes, they do. <laughs> uh, where can someone go to get more info on, uh, on people for animals? Um, our website is the easiest way to get us. Um, it's pfaonline.org. Okay, great job, Jane. Good talking to you. And uh, World uh, Spay Day. Let's uh, let, let's make a difference uh, on February 28th. All right. Absolutely. Thank you, Bert. Good to talk to you. Thank you. All right, uh, Jane Guillaume, my guest uh, from People for Animals and World.